Good evening, everyone. Welcome again. This Bible reading time. As we get into the Lord's Word today, one more time, to see what He has to say for us today, and to give Him all the praise and all the glory, because it is due in His name, and He is worthy. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, uh, it's again we come to you today, Lord, uh, to thank you one more time, Lord, uh, uh, for this opportunity, Lord, uh, to sit down and get in your word uh, uh, just a little while. Uh, and I pray, O oh Lord, today uh, that you will not lift the clay, Lord, uh, and give us wisdom uh, to speak your word with understanding uh, that we all know a little more about you today uh, than we you did yesterday. Uh, and have a greater desire to follow you, uh, and I'll pray, Lord, uh, that you'll give me the words uh, how we have to say today, uh, that we'll reach to somebody, uh, and let them touch their heart, uh, and lead them to you, Lord, uh, and I pray, Lord, he'll bring uh, uh, someone back to you, uh, that started out on the good path, uh, on the right road, uh, but somehow they, they, sway, they uh, straight away, uh, but I pray, Lord, Lord, you bring them back. I, I see the old path I, I, where they used to walk. I, let them seek to walk therein. I, and I pray, O oh Lord, today, I, you let these words be written I, upon our heart, I, that we may know how, Lord, I, not to sin again you, I, but be obedient to you and your call. I, and Lord, I pray you help us. I, I teach word, bring words forth I, that would touch someone today. I, I pray you help us keep trying. I, I press on, I, I try to win souls for you, Lord, I, how to be saved and pull them out of the devil's hand. I, and Lord, I pray today also I, that you'll bless every listener to this video I, and fill them with your Holy Spirit I, and bless them beyond their dreams I, and fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord, I, that they will know you I, are in their soul. I, help them to know, Lord, if they're saved. I, they're saved until the day of redemption I, and they are saved and secure in your hand. Uh, and I pour pray, Lord, today uh, you fill them with your Holy Spirit uh, that they would know how real you are uh, and that you love them. Uh, and Lord, I pray one more time uh, you give us words to say uh, that will help someone along the way uh, and help us be obedient to you. Uh, these things we ask in the wonderful name uh, of our Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, and amen. Uh, and thank you, Father, uh, uh, for your love uh, and for your mercy. Now today we're going to be talking about some scriptures found in the great book of Ezekiel chapter 13 and it's the scriptures we don't hear talked on much nowadays because it seems like they always got somewhere else to go. And they don't want to hear this kind of scriptures, neither do they want to share this kind of scriptures. When all scriptures are given to us to share with others through the gospel and to the lost and dying world as well as to those that are confessed to be Christians and that are not, and those that think they are and are not, my friend, it's it we all may understand and know if we are saved or whether we are not saved uh, and what side we are walking on. And my friend, today it's time we all examine ourselves and see where we stand in God's Word, not man's Word, but God's Word, and He will lead us all the way uh, and understand, my friends, uh, it is God's Word is the only truth we have in this world uh, that's going to stand, uh, that will lead and guide us all the way home. My friend, other people may try to lead and guide us, but my friend, if we don't let the Word uh, lead and guide us, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, He is the living Word, uh, uh, then we won't find that way, uh, and neither will anyone lead us along uh, that way. Uh, but my trust in Him, uh, and know He is our Savior, uh, He is our Redeemer, uh, and through and by Him one day after a while, uh, our heaven will be our home, uh, and we can go to dwell with Him uh, forevermore. Uh, but my friend, let's all also realize uh, that we need to be a teacher in God's Word uh, as it is written, uh, not adding to it or taking away from it, uh, but as he it is written and as he spoke it uh, to the disciples and apostles of old, uh, as they 
moved on by Holy Ghost. I had to read, I had to write, record this word for you and I learning. Now let's see what he had to say. Chapter, great book of Ezekiel, chapter 13, King James Version Bible. The Bible I love, and I'm not ashamed to mention that, that I love the King James Version Bible. Now listen to what he said, 13 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, I son of man prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say unto them that prophesy out of their own heart. Hear ye the word of the Lord. My friend is saying God has sent them, and he has not sent them, but they declare he has. My, my, my friend, this is why he said for us to listen. Now listen to what he goes on to say. It explained itself a little bit more and more every day. Verse 3, Thus saith the Lord God, uh, Woe unto the foolish prophets uh, uh, that follow their own spirit uh, and have seen nothing. Uh, o Israel, thy priests are, are like the foxes in the desert. Uh, uh, yet ye have not gone up uh, into the gaps, neither uh, made up the hedges for uh, the house of Israel uh, to stand in the battle uh, in the day of the Lord. Uh, my friend, are you not helped uh, my people in uh, uh, doing what you ought to do uh, to help my people. Uh, uh, they were for their poor. Uh, they were foolish prophets. Uh, he called them foolish shepherds. Uh, uh, he called my friend. Uh, they listened to their own heart. Uh, they didn't listen to God uh, and God's word. Uh, and my friend, there are many in the world today uh, that will not listen to God's word. Uh, there are many that stand behind a uh, 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 sacred desk on the weekends at uh, uh, different times. Uh, but yet they won't recognize God has been God. Uh, they want to bring him down to their level. Uh, my friends, instead of standing up, I uh, uh, stepping up to him. Uh, they want to bring him down to them, uh, to their level. Uh, and my friend, we got some today uh, that we long if we're Christian, my friend, uh, we can speak anything into existence uh, like God did uh, in the Garden of Eden uh, uh, when he spoke everything in his in, in into existence, uh, as he might like it when he made uh, uh, the world, my friend. Uh, hey, we are not God, my friend. Uh, we're the only one God of heaven uh, and God, uh, my friend, is the only one Lord uh, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, and if we get to heaven, uh, we got to go through it by him. Uh, there is no other one. Uh, there is no other way, my friend, uh, to eternal life uh, except through the Lord, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, now listen what he goes on to say, uh, ye have gone, not gone up, uh, gone up into the gaps, uh, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel uh, to stand in the battle uh, in the day of the Lord. Uh, they have seen vanity uh, and lying divinations, uh, saying the Lord saith, uh, and the Lord had not sent them, uh, and they have made uh, others to hope that they would come confirm the word, uh, my friend, they'll stand back there, uh, and they'll come out something, uh, and they'll come out all of a sudden, somebody say amen now, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, if we had to ask amen, uh, I'd to back up on the word, uh, then my friend, the word ain't worth nothing, no way, uh, uh, because it didn't come uh, uh, from the heart it's supposed to, uh, it came from their own mind and still, uh, uh, the word of God, uh, uh, my friend today, uh, uh, he say he warned us uh, of those things that would happen. Now let's, I'm going to read this verse again. I did not continue on. They have seen vanity and lying divinations, saying, in other words, they lied about it, divination, saying, the Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the the Lord saith, uh, it all bit I have not spoken. Uh, my friend, it is the word of the Lord. Uh, this is not my word uh, or not man's word. Uh, but he said, uh, the Lord says it all bit uh, I have not spoken. Uh, my friend, they say he has, uh, but he has not spoken. Uh, and my friend, we got people today uh, that says the Lord gets with them uh, and talks to them half an hour and hours at a time. Uh, my friend, uh, we got some that says, uh, 
that we God has to ask us permission uh, uh, before he does anything in the world, uh, uh, even for us. Uh, when my friend, God has all the power in heaven uh, and in earth. Uh, uh, he don't ask, have to ask us anything, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, but there are many are teaching that today. Uh, uh, how are they getting away with it? Uh, uh, they call people are failing uh, uh, to read God's word uh, and accept it as what it says. Uh, when God spoke it, uh, my friend, they want to make it easy way. Uh, uh, but man, uh, that would just slip in. Uh, my friend, the people today, uh, I just think they can grease the bottom of their shoes uh, and just slide on in. Uh, my friend, we won't get to heaven that way. Uh, we got to be born again uh, to enter into that city uh, uh, called heaven, uh, not on, on merit, uh, but on the promises uh, of Almighty God uh, and the salvation uh, that He gave to us uh, uh, when He saved us. Uh, and we must hold on uh, to God's unchanged in hand uh, and never let go. Uh, now listen what he goes on to say. Uh, verse 8 uh, Therefore thus saith the Lord uh, God because you have spoken uh, uh, vanity. Uh, vanity is nothing uh, and seen lies uh, seen lies uh, making making up things uh, that they're saying. Uh, Therefore behold I am against you uh, uh, saith the, the Lord God uh, and my hand shall be upon uh, the prophets that see vanity uh, that prophets are lies vanity and that divine lies they have not be they shall not be in the assembly of my people neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel neither shall they enter into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am the Lord God my friend when these things come to pass then they will know who the Lord God is and who he has been all the time and will be because he's always been God and he ever will be God and he holds all the power of heaven and earth in his hand today therefore he don't ask, have to ask our permission for anything my friend, my friend he is all through a perfect He's the author uh, of eternal salvation, uh, my friend. Uh, he's the author of it all, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend. Uh, I listen to the word, uh, and we will learn something, uh, and we'll grow by it. Uh, but my friend, let's take it to our heart uh, and pray along the way. Uh, and my friend, today uh, it's time we picked up our old Bibles uh, and begin to read them, uh, uh, like we used to, uh, or like we should, uh, and keep the dust off of them, uh, and my my friend, uh, and also keep the dust uh, off the altar where we pray. Uh, not let it get covered over with dust, uh, but pray to the Lord uh, uh, day and night, uh, uh, different times, uh, uh, through the day, uh, and before you sleep at night, uh, and make sure your salvation uh, is cure. Uh, make your calling election sure. Uh, make sure we don't go to sleep uh, uh, without asking God uh, our forgiveness for uh, our sin we don't know about uh, that we've done, uh, because none of us is perfect uh, in this life. Uh, if we were perfect, uh, we'd already be at home uh, uh, with him. Uh, now listen what he goes on to say. Uh, verse 10, uh, because, even because, uh, they have seduced my people, uh, I seduced them, mean bewitched, uh, made them believe a lie, uh, saying peace and peace, and there was no peace, uh, and one built up a wall, and lo, others died dead, uh, with untempered, untempered mortar, uh, uh, that amens, uh, that it's not uh, worth anything, uh, that will not hold anything up, uh, my friend, because it'll still uh, uh, fall through, uh, uh, my friend, uh, now listen to what he goes on to say, uh, I say unto them, uh, uh, which daub it with untempered mortar, uh, that it shall fall, uh, there shall be an overflowing shower, uh, and ye old great hailstones I uh, uh, shall fall uh, and the stormy wind uh, shall rend it uh, lo when the wall is fallen I uh, uh, shall it not be said uh, unto you uh, where is the dobbing wherewith uh, you have dobbed it uh, my friend uh, what good uh, uh, where is a man uh, that were no good uh, uh, why didn't they help the wall stand uh, my, my friend uh, because they were no good anyway uh, they're a 
amen. I, I was no good anyway. I, therefore, it didn't seal anything. I, my friend, that refers I, I, to God's word. I, it's got to be according to God's word. I, and it won't be at all, I, my friend, because the word I, is truth. I, and all the truth we have. I, and it's going to stand. I, I, when the world is crumbling in I, and melting I, from the permanent heat. I, I, when the stars I, I begin to fall. I, my friend, my friend, my friend. I, that's why I say wake up, wake up. I, I to the truth of God's word. I, and follow him I, and be saved. I, and not let go of hold of uh, uh, God's unchanging hand. I, but more closely to him cling. I, as the days come and go. I, I know that one day I, I we will be no more uh, on this earth. I, but we must go to meet him. I, I the judge of all judges. I, and the king of kings and lord of lords. I, and be judged according to the deed we have done. I, and these old bodies. I, my friends are poor. I, be ready to go when that hour comes. I, be sure we've been saved. I, be sure that blood has been applied. I, and we're ready to go. I, because that day will come. I, and it's well on its way. I, I for many. I, now listen what he said. I, the thirteen. I, uh, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, uh, God, I will even rend it uh, with a stormy wind uh, in the fury, uh, and there shall be an overflowing shower uh, in mine anger uh, and great hailstones uh, in my fury uh, to consume. It, uh, so will I break down the wall uh, that they have dabbed with, in, dabbed with untempered mortar uh, and bring it down to the ground uh, so that the foundations thereof shall be discovered uh, and it shall fall uh, and ye shall be consumed uh, in the midst thereof uh, and ye shall know that I am uh, I the Lord. Uh, thus will I accomplish my wrath uh, upon the wall uh, and upon them that daubed it uh, with untempered mortar uh, and and will say unto you, uh, The wall is no more, neither uh, uh, they that daubed it uh, uh, to it. Uh, the prophets of Israel which prophesy uh, concerning Jerusalem uh, and which see visions uh, of peace for her. Uh, and there is no peace, saith uh, the Lord God. Uh, my friend, they promise them peace uh, uh, when there is no peace. Uh, because, uh, my friend, my friend, the word uh, uh, warns us of this, uh, uh, to be worried. I uh, so teaching uh, as this uh, that is false that God ain't given them uh, my friend and promising things uh, that they can't deliver uh, uh, because they're not God uh, uh, my friend my friend uh, there's some people today uh, they say uh, uh, we all have faith my friend uh, and we can take what faith we got uh, and uh, talk anything into existence uh, other words uh, if we got faith uh, we can talk uh, uh, up a vehicle that we want uh, and get it and drive away uh, my friend and uh, it's not the way it works uh, only God can speak uh, anything into existence uh, because man ain't gonna do it uh, I know we can have faith uh, and we can pray uh, my pr my friend uh, and our prayers will be answered uh, but we can't make one thing uh, my friend that God made uh, a long time ago uh, because he is a maker of all things uh, in heaven and in the earth uh, my friend uh, he, he spoke it in existence, uh, but we cannot. Uh, now listen to what he says. Uh, Go on to see. 17. Likewise, the Son of Man, uh, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, uh, which prophesy out of their own hearts, uh, and prophesy thou against them, uh, and say, Thus saith the Lord, uh, God, uh, woe to the women uh, that sow pillows uh, to all armholes, uh, and make kerchiefs uh, upon the head of every stature uh, to hunt souls. Uh, will ye hunt the souls of my people, uh, and will you save the souls of life? that come unto you my friend is telling them will you save my people that come unto you my friend we got only one I can save and heal and destroy my friend our Lord Jesus Christ he can save and he does save he can heal and he does heal and he can destroy and he does destroy why my friend my friend because he has all the power my friend and 
again. I, we don't hate, hey, don't have to ask cause I, I do anything. I, my friend, my friend, I, I wake up, wake up, I, and hear his word. I, I read in his holy word, I, and then you will know I, I, what he has said. I, and we won't have to take it from man, I, and we won't have to listen I, I, to the false teachers I, that will cause us to go astray. I, my friend, and believe a lie. I, it's not real. I, my friend, and hide us I, and cause us to lose. I, I mean, he blessings that the Lord I, has for us down here I, because we follow them. I, my friend, it's time I, that people quit following the world I, and following I, I false teachers I, and following God, follow his word I, and see what he says. I, and my friend, if we follow God's word I, as it is written, I, I, then we'll follow him I, and he will take us all the way home. I, I wonder after a while I, I, where we can sit down I, with old Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob I, and me will have supper with them at the great marriage supper of the Lamb. I, my friend, my friend, my friend, I, I listen to God. I, I listen to His Word I, and be healed. I, I be saved I, and be ready to go when that morning comes. I, and I'll listen to man. I, now let's go on I, and see what he has to say I, in these next few verses. I, that he's got right here. And say, Thus saith the Lord, God, a woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Will ye hunt souls of my people, and will ye save a souls alive that come unto you, and will ye pollute me among uh, my people uh, uh, for handfuls of barley uh, and for pieces of bread uh, to slay the souls uh, that should not die and to save the souls uh, alive uh, that should not live uh, by your lying uh, to my people uh, uh, that hear your lies uh, my friend my friend uh, they hear listen to lies uh, and make them hope and think that's not uh, uh, at all uh, but my friend it cause them uh, to die lost uh, my friend my friend instead of saving them alive uh, to make them fly uh, they run them the way uh, my friend they hide the truth uh, uh, from many uh, my friend he said, Woe unto them uh, that do these things. Uh, now listen what he goes on to say. Uh, and will 19 again. Uh, and will you pollute me uh, among my people uh, for handfuls of barley uh, and a few pieces of bread? Uh, it's money nowadays. Uh, all they want is money and money and money uh, and more money. Uh, and my friend, uh, if that's all the pastor talks about, uh, uh, when you go to the church, uh, it's money, money, money. Uh, uh, then I'd say uh, you'd be better off to find find uh, another church somewhere uh, because my friend uh, I know we should give uh, and help when we can uh, my friend pay tithes when we can uh, but we can only pay what we have uh, and what we are able to pay uh, and God is sufficient with that uh, because he knows all things uh, and he understands all things uh, uh, just as well uh, and people say today uh, well you send me your money uh, and that is planting seed uh, let me tell you my friend uh, the seed is the word of God uh, and my friend that word of God uh, if it's fertilized right uh, uh, with the blessing of the spirit of almighty uh, and living God uh, then he will make the good grow uh, and he will give the increase uh, my friend and not man uh, but the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and my friend my friend uh, I listen to what the word says uh, and be blessed uh, I listen to what he says uh, and live uh, and have a home in heaven on one day, I, after a while, I, I, when his life is over, I, I'm not a saying, my friend, that I'm perfect. I, I'm cold, I know I, I am not. I, I'm still in this, this whole body of clay I, in the flesh. I, and long as I live in this flesh, my friend, I, I sin's going to dwell I, in the flesh. I, but someday, someday, I, he will call us home. I, and my friend, I, now listen to what he says I, in verse 20, I, or for the 
saith the Lord. God, behold, I am against your pillows. I were with ye hunter, hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt, to make them fly. I so make ye pillows, my friend, to hide God's ever-reaching, extended hand to whosoever would come unto him and be saved. They're trying to cover his outstretched hands, my friend, through the lies. That's what these pillows, farm holes, represent. Where they're trying to cover God's outreached hands, my friend, today. So therefore, be careful to who we listen to and make sure what they say is coming out of the Word of God and not out of their own mouth. My friend, my friend, that's what he has given them and not what they've ordered from someone else and some else's words. But my friend, then we will be blessed in our deeds and we can share this gospel to the lost and dying world and someone will be here and listen to what we had to say. And my friend, it might be just one person that will hear us and be saved. But my friend, if we can lead one to him and be saved, my friend, it would be worth it all, worth all this world and 10,000 more like it. My friend, my friend. Now I'm going to read 20 again and then finish the chapter. I were for the said the Lord. God, behold, I am against your pillows. I worry with ye their hunt, ye their hunt the souls to make them fly, and I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your chiefs also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. My friend again, he warned them, when I do this, when I see to people free from your hand, and, uh, then you will know uh, that I am the Lord. Uh, that's what he is saying today. Uh, he's saying the same thing to us. Uh, he'll take his children uh, out of their hands uh, and let the soul go free. Uh, and then the one that comes down with all this false teaching uh, that causes people, uh, his children to go astray, uh, he will take them, my friend. Uh, he take those children uh, home with him, uh, and my friend. Uh, then they that thought these things that will false, uh, they will pay for it, uh, my friend, and they're going to know uh, that he is the Lord, uh, and he is God, uh, and he will do what he said uh, he would do. Uh, now listen, verse 22, uh, because with lies you have made uh, the heart of the righteous sad, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, by again, by telling them lies, uh, and telling them uh, uh, that we're not ready to go, uh, my friend, now listen what he said, uh, whom I have not made sad, uh, and strengthened the hand hands of the wicked, uh, that he should not return uh, from his wicked way uh, by promising him life. Uh, therefore you shall see uh, no more vanity uh, nor divine divination, uh, for I will deliver my people uh, out of your hand, uh, and you shall know that I am uh, I the Lord, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, that teach lies uh, to pull the man after them, uh, to follow them in their ways uh, and their ungodly ways. Uh, and my, their false teaching ways uh, and caused many to go astray uh, but my friend God promised uh, that he would deliver uh, those souls from their hands uh, and let them go free uh, and they would know uh, that he is God uh, and he is the Lord uh, and my friend that word stands today uh, it will stand forever uh, and it's recorded and settled forever uh, in heaven uh, to not be as who are taken away from uh, and therefore it will remain God's word uh, and forever Ever will it stand, uh, and my friend, it's one and all, uh, every man, woman, child, boy, a girl uh, that's ever born on in this earth, uh, my friend, it is for them, uh, even those that gone on, uh, it was for them, uh, it is for us today, uh, and my friend, if we'll lead, uh, I read and lead, lead, lead us, uh, and guide us, uh, then he'll take us home to glory uh, one day, uh, uh, where we can rejoice and praise him uh, uh, forevermore, uh, our most kind and gracious heavenly Father. Father, uh, it's again we come to you with a thankful heart, Lord, uh, to thank you one more time for your love uh, and for your mercy. Uh, and we thank you, Lord, uh, for your grace. Uh, and I thank you, Lord, uh, that you love 
does enough. I, I just go across for us. I, and I pray today, Lord, I, that, I, that you would reach down I, to those that's lost and done, done, don't know you as their Savior. I, and send your joy spirit to them one more time. I, Lord, and give them another opportunity I, to be saved before I, it's too late. I, because one day I, we know you will call. I, and Lord, however we leave I, this world, the Lord, I, is the way we'll stand before you. I, I one day after a while, I, and I pray, Lord, I, I today, I, I for, for those I, that are sick and feeble and, and, and in this world, Lord, I, I pray you reach down, heal, deliver, I, and set free if it be your will. I, not my will, Lord, I, but if it be your will. I, and Lord, I, if it's not your will, Lord, I, from them be healed. I, I pray you make their suffering I, and uh, heartaches easier to endure I, and be faithful to you. I, that through their faithfulness to you, Lord, I, can be one to you and be saved I, before it's too late. I, and I pray, Lord, you keep us walking on on the road it's right, I, I try to win souls I, to you to be saved, I, and by sharing your gospel I, uh, to the lost and dying world, I, and I pray, O oh Lord, also I, that you'll save someone this evening I, I, before they sleep, I, because, Lord, tomorrow's not promised, I, but eternity is, Lord, I, and one day after a while, I, and when you call us home, I, we can hear you say, well done, I, my child, welcome home, I, I forevermore, you're now it rests with me. Uh, your work on earth uh, is now done. Uh, and Lord, when we get there, uh, we can praise and glorify you uh, uh, forevermore. Uh, uh, we can join the angels uh, at the singing around your throne. Uh, and those that's gone on and made it home uh, and waiting for us uh, just inside the eastern gate uh, over there. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, uh, until that day comes, Lord, uh, you give us the words we need to say uh, and lead us on the path that's right, uh, that we may win. Uh, I someone to you to be saved, uh, because I know, Lord, uh, I will, if we can lead one to you, uh, it would be one more, Lord, uh, that the devil couldn't get, uh, and take down with him, uh, and then, Lord, uh, uh, when we do get home, uh, uh, we can praise you forevermore, uh, all around your throne, uh, and when we've been there 10,000 years, uh, we'll have no less days to praise you, uh, than when we first begun, uh, but until then, I, I pray you walk with us I, and keep, continue to show us the way I, that when we do get home, I, we can praise you forevermore I, I, while the ages roll on. I, and when we've been there I, I, 10,000 years, Lord, or 10 million, I, we'll have no less days I, to praise you than when we first begun. I, and these things we ask I, in a wonderful name I, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, and amen. I, and thank you, Father, one more time uh, for your love uh, and your mercy.